All right, here we are starting our day. Just pulling into York. It's 11 o'clock. Show starts in an hour. Good evening, everyone. All right, so I'm home from York, and I'll, I'll give my take on it. It might not be the most popular, but uh, I've gone to numerous shows at this point. Um, but I've always attended the Thursday show, which is just for TCA members. Um, this show, to me, was uh, attendance on Thursday was was very light. Um, I got there an hour before the show opened and I, basically the show now has been limited to four holes and it still takes a good I'd say three four hours if you want to see everything go through it and where my past shows I definitely on Thursday the show was open from 12 to 5, and I spent every minute there until 5 o'clock. This year, I went through all the halls, and um, I found that I was able to get through them all, and I was finished by quarter to four. And the reason I was able to do that was because the aisles weren't as busy as I had found in the past. 
Now with that being said, I still was able to find everything I had on my wish list. And there were some of them it was one ofs and others, uh, you know, I found two or three of them. So it was still definitely well worthwhile going and I will continue to go and support them. Uh, a lot, if you followed it, uh, has been made the fact that Lionel as a corporation did not attend this show. I really don't think that matters in the whole scheme of things. Uh, what I found at this show that was different was there were much more high-end items than there were for the average collector. Um, you know, you, you could find numerous, numerous vendors had new-in-the-box post-war stuff. Uh, so, you know, kind of very hard to find, but do you want to pay that premium? And to me, I, I usually don't do that. So, with that being said, though, um, it's still wor very well attended. I spoke with a number of the vendors. Um, when I ended my day at Orange Hall, and Orange Hall was at half capacity. But talking to the vendors over in Red Hall, especially, Red Hall seemed to be the hot spot at this show. And uh, at the end of the day, they were very happy. Uh, the vendors said they had steady flow all day long. And then if uh, you followed up on Friday's attendance was very well attended so I don't know if you can draw any conclusions from that where okay so the TCA members didn't show up on Thursday but Friday and Saturday was very well attended and everybody was happy with the attendance so we're still alive um, one of the things that was very good to see and uh, I was laughing as I was going through buying my stuff um, there was an eight-year-old in a debate with a vendor about what he wanted in reference to post-war and what should go with particular locomotives. And I definitely saw a strong presence of younger people between eight and, uh, I'll say, eight and 18 that had interest in the hobby. And it also seems that their interest mainly was in uh, post-war stuff. So take it for what it was. It was a successful show. Um, happy I went, even though Lionel as a corporation wasn't there, but it was well worth attending and I will continue to make my pilgrimage uh, twice a year up to York. So with that being said, uh, what I ended up buying at uh, this York show were some items that I've been looking for for well over a year and I was able to find them and I found them at great prices. So what I picked up at this show was the Union Pacific 753 set. I never really talk prices but I found this set and it was cheaper than anything on eBay and I actually saw it in the beginning of the show and told the vendor, okay, I'm going to keep looking and I'll come back. And I went back later in the day, like at 3.15, and the guy said, oh, I'm glad you came back. And he actually lowered the price to lower than I was going to offer. So I was very happy with this purchase. The next thing that, and what I wanted is, for my layout, I have that coal ramp back there in the center. And it's just, it really, it, it's too hard to use and I, I don't want that. So I'm going to remove that from my layout. And what I bought to replace it was the cargo container crane. So that's going to go over in that location. So I found that with the box, again, at least $50 cheaper than I've seen it on any eBay show. So that was, that was a very good buy, I'm happy with it, it's working, and I'll make
make a video with that actually on the layout. That'll be my weekend project if I can get to it. And because I bought that, I picked up some a set of container cars. And I'm slowly but surely trying to get all the USMC cars. And I picked up one additional car. So now I have uh, three of this particular series. And I'll continue to work on getting them all. Um, in addition to these items, I picked up a... Uh, two additional cars for that accessory again one being the uh, flat car with the tractor trailer on it and the tractor trailer the Alka Seltzer tractor trailer car so it was a successful show show prices paid were definitely uh, better than the asking prices on eBay and I'm a happy camper. put some footage of the actual show itself and I'll edit this all up and I'll be posting a video uh, have a good day uh, again whatever you hear if you haven't been to York it's well worth the trip definitely want to uh, if you can make that pilgrimage it's well worth your time if there's anything you're looking for you will definitely find it there well, the other thing I bought at this show was, you know, there's always a, uh, at least seven or eight parts vendors. So I spent a lot of time just picking up light bulbs and the little odds and ends that I know I'll use as I continue the hobby. Um, so I wish you all the best. Uh, my next big event is going to be October 19th. Uh, I live in Florida, so the Southern Division's main show this year is in the Orlando area. So I'm going to uh, actually do something a little different, and I am going to get some tables there and sell off some of my collection. Uh, yeah. I have an extensive collection, and I have a lot of doubles, and I'm going to see... Uh, how I can make that at the show and go from there. So I'll post a couple more videos, go back to the set stuff as I go by, and uh, continue from there. Again, if there's anything you need help with or have any questions, um, I have a, a lot of not right now. I'm, my main thing, even though I picked this up, is I'm picking up a lot of uh, standard gauge stuff. I just uh, think it's... Uh, a neat size you got to have the room for it but I'm working on it and i am uh, been focusing on that I have a couple of items coming uh, from the MTH uh, tin plate collection and I'll highlight that in the next video so thanks for your interest and I'll get another video up in a week or two have a good night bye